So I'm here to talk about another Karen as uh I guess you can say predator by the name of Carrie Cabri Witt, who was just sentenced to 10 years in prison for having sexual relations with a student. But the crazy part about it is, is this woman right here has absolutely no shame for what she did, like none. And I'm going to go into it um, by um, what I mean by that. A former Decatur High School teacher was sentenced to 10 years after pleading guilty to engaging in a sex act with a student under 19. Carrie Cabri Witt will serve the, serve the sentence with 18 months in prison, followed by another 18 months in the community corrections program. The remainder of her sentence will be served on probation. So even then, she, you know, is getting a slap on the wrist. Witt will also have to be required to register as a sex offender. Decatur police originally arrested Witt in 2016 after an investigation. Witt was charged with two counts of school employee engaging in a sex act or deviant sexual intercourse with a student under the age of 19 years. Witt attempted to challenge the sentence in 2016, arguing that she had constitutional right to privacy to engage in consensual sex acts with whomever she chooses. But a Morgan County District judge denied the motion. Now, did you hear that? She says that you are violating my constitutional right to have sex with this person who is under a certain age and is violating my constitutional rights and to have sex with whomever I want. They need to dig a little, dig a little deeper with her. The fact that she even says something like that screams that she probably engaged in sex with probably some people maybe even younger than the person she had sex with that got her into the position she's, she's in right now. After a period of administrative leave, Witt ultimately resigned her position with Decatur City Schools in 2018. But the fact of the remain the fact of the matter is, is this woman still got a slap on the wrist because she's not served. She said 18 months in jail. So let's like calculate. That's like a year. That's almost two years, but not two years. Then she has to do another a year and some change in the corrections facility. Like it's literally like she goes from jail to corrections to probation <clears throat> so this right here goes back to the not only does she have palm color privilege but she also has being a woman privilege because what have i said when it comes to stuff like this they do not usually heavily punish women for engaging these kind of acts the only thing that really surprises me is the fact that they're making her register as a sex offender because i'm surprised they even did that because i keep thinking about the story that came out of new york of that white woman who did the same thing that this woman did and she not only didn't have to register as a sex offender, she did not spend, as far as I know, one day in jail. And she was allowed to go back to work at the same place that she was engaging in the act at. Now, they probably I think they said, well, they wanted to wait until the person graduated before they let her back, as if that really matters. It's not like people there um, who are there right now didn't know or are unaware of her actions even if she came back after that person graduated. That doesn't really matter, but that was probably one of the biggest slaps on the wrist when it came to this type of activity. But yet again, women, especially white women in particular, who engage this kind of activity, keep getting the benefit of the doubt every single time, even though they can be some of the biggest predators, and that's probably why some of them are, because they know that they can get away with it over and over and over again. All they have to do is have the complexion for protection, whine a little bit, but this woman right here is still firmly on her square and said that this was violating her constitutional rights to have sex with whoever she wanted. I'll give her that. At least she at least she was unapologetic about it and didn't try to hide behind it either. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this, though, down in the comments.